Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a center. Hey everyone, it's me, Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. As the title states, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to patch the Legend of Heroes Zero no Kisaki into English. Originally, this game is a Japanese Vita game, but for today, we're going to be using a patch to translate the full game into English. But with that being all out the way, let's just go ahead and get started with the prerequisites and everything I state as just in every video I ever made will be in the link in the description down below. Plus, any useful tools or any useful links or written guides will also be in the link in the description down below but for today's video what you'll need is either a playstation Vita or a pstv that is modded on 3.60 firmware in particular since this patch is only made for my dump or you know my um games back in the day most of y'all probably don't know this um but before there was no mpdrm out for their vita scene um the way how you would either patch games or fully decrypt games or even run games in your vita was with a tool called my dump so that's what we're going to be needing today so if you're on like firmware 3.73 or you know anything higher than 3.60 so even 3.65 and you know 3.67 such and so forth make sure you can downgrade your vita for this process if you're not already on 3.60 if you guys don't know already how to um basically downgrade your vita i will have a card right now that will showcase on how to do that but with that being all out the way assuming that your vita is on 3.60 you also need mydump.vbk which is basically going to allow us to install the full patch for this game. You also need Legend of the Hero Zero Nikasenki, so English patch.zip. So you don't even really need the full game for this process. The game is included with the actual patch itself. So all you got to do is just a simple install, and I'll show you guys more about that later on in the video. And last but not least, either you can use a USB cable or a Fazla FTP client to transfer your files over, depending on what you want to do. I always recommend the USB cable transfer method since it's way much faster than you know follow the ftb client since it's going to be using your wi-fi connection to transfer your game files over but with all of that getting stated out the way we're just going to go ahead and get started on the pc and showcase this full process Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the steps and the prerequisites, we're going to go ahead and get started on the PlayStation Vita side of things first. So first things first, let's just go ahead and verify that our system's on 3.60. So I'm going to show you guys that my console is on 3.60 right now. So if I go into system, system information, you can already see that I am on 3.60 firmware. So once you verify that your system or console is on 3.60, all you need to do is open up Vita Shell for this process. If you don't know what Vita Shell is, I will have that in a link in the description down below, but it is required for today's process since we're going to be transferring our files over via with this program. So just go ahead and open up Vita Shell. Once um, your PlayStation Vita or your PSTV is open up into Vita Shell, what you want to do is go ahead and hit start on your device. Go into where it says select button, depending on what you want to um, transfer your files over. So if you want to use FTP as showcased here, um, where it says select button, you can use that, but that's going to take longer in terms of transferring your files. What I'm going to be doing today as well, if you're going to be using FTP, for example, if I go ahead and hit select, you just got to you know, note your IP address plus your port for the Vita, which is 1337. But since I'm going to be doing USB method, which I also recommend for y'all guys to do on your end, since it's way much faster in terms of transferring files it's just to hold start once again go into select button and then once you hit select it will say usb mode connected and then once it states that then we are able to go to our pc and see our playstation vita's content and then we could transfer our files via that way so that's what i'm doing here right now Alrighty, assuming that you already got your PlayStation Vita set up either as USB or basically you have your thing set up to follow the FTV client, just go to your PC. In the link in the description down below, I will have these two files. I will have the mydump english.vbk from the GitHub as well as the patch itself. So all you need to do is go ahead and right click over this patch. Um, you also need WinWare for this process. If you don't have WinWare, I'll have that in the link in the description down below. But all you got to do is just right click, extract files here, go and hit OK. 
and what will happen it will create its folder right now and this is basically the full game and patch and if you notice if you ever mess with vita games this is the content id so if i go into here it's already um see these are some of the patch files itself but it's extracting via with runner so once this is um, fully done extracting out all of its files, what we're going to be doing basically is dragging this to our PlayStation Vita. So if I open up File Explorer right here, go to my PC, you can see that I have my Vita connected here. And this is all of your Vita contents. Yours will, of course, look different than mine since I already have some custom folders that I made for myself in here. But all we have to do is while well, that is extracting out its contents you want to go ahead and create a new folder on your vita and you want to label it as my mai if i could type today so once you labeled it my this is where the patch is actually going to go to so i think the game is fully extracted yeah the game is fully extracted so if we right click go into properties um if it says it's 2.39 gigabytes this is the full game and patch itself so all you got to do is open up this folder just verify all of your data is in here um but once you have your game and your game patch let me put it side by side so you guys could see better all right so all you would have to do since we created the my folder from here where you find your my folder so go into my all you have to do is drag and drop this folder here and just wait for it to copy once that is fully done copying which will probably take some time you want to take the my dump tool as well and just drag it onto the root of your usb of course you just do it in the same directory so if you were on filezilla you'll just transfer it over from ux0 since that is your memory card or if you're doing extended storage just use uma0 by you know just typing your ip and follow the ftv client or any um ftv client of choice but since we're using a usb connection even for 13 minutes it's way much faster still compared to filezilla um of course just have your usb connected if you're doing um you know that method but i'm gonna wait 13 minutes come back and then we're gonna go to the vita and get our game loaded up Alrighty, so if we go back to my playstation vita as show here so let me go ahead and open it up we can verify that we all have our files into the correct location i accidentally closed out my vita page all right so you can see that my dump tool is right here if we scroll all the way up to my you can see all of our contents from the actual patch itself is here so all of the files is where it's supposed to be just to verify our thing is like 2.34 gigs or 39 gigs that means you're good to go so all you need to do now is just head back onto the playstation vita and get my dump installed in vita shell and then we'll be able to install our game Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all of the steps on the PC, you got your game transferred over, whether you use the USB method or if you're using Fossilla FTP client, all you gotta do now is just go into UX0, scroll all the way down to you see my dump tools. So just go ahead and install that package. It won't take too long. And then once that is fully installed, what we're also going to do via for um, UX0 is check if our game is in basically Zero no Kisenki is in the My Dump folder. So let's just go ahead and get this um, set up once it's fully done. It's at 95% now, so hopefully it won't take too much longer. All right, so now that's done. If I scroll to my My folder in UX0, go here you can see that my game contents in here just to show you that is zero nico thank you you can see the icon right here if i open up the param.sfo um you can see the japanese title id name and if i show you the icon pick uh, you can see that it's the actual patch game so if i go back out of vita shell real quick scroll all the way down to my dump tool let's go ahead and open up the program itself so let me do that right now what you want to do is go to the second option so install game from folder just go ahead and hit circle and then it's just going to ask you make sure this game is already not installed so it's going to scan for the patch it's going to also check if there's no malicious code found that was one of the things back in the day that it would do and then it says installation done if i go here you can see my game is up and running so here's the full game right now you can see that the game is already in English, so it's already pre-patched. So I'm not going to play any audio um, only due to the fact that the, you know, just copyright issues and stuff like that. But I am going to show you guys that um, 
the game is fully you know in English so I'm just gonna do a quick playthrough I'm trying to skip some of the boot screens but I guess it's still loading so just waiting for it to do its thing so yep you can see here that that's already patched into English some of the boot screens I know from the original um, were in Japanese so let me go ahead um, we could do a new game since I never played it uh, normal um, I'm just gonna scroll through a lot of stuff but as you see you already see the stuff is already in um, you know English is not in Japanese but yeah this is essentially on how to patch Zero Nikosenki into English on your Vita if you guys did enjoy this video please let me know please be sure to leave a subscribe or you know subscribe to my channel or leave a like but with that being stated out the way my name is Nagato's Revenge and I'll see you guys in the next video peace Hey everyone, it's me Nagato's Revenge here. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. With that being out the way as well, I highly do recommend that y'all guys go ahead and follow my social media so you never miss any of the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel by subscribing to me and hitting that notification button as well. It's another method on how you will know when I drop my latest content, whether it be for the Vita, PS4, PS3, and such and so forth. As well, if you want to be in a mix of things and you want to join my official community, you can join via the link right now showcased on the screen and join my discord that way and if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you could become a patron i will have a card right now but with all of that getting out the way hope you guys really did enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time peace